there everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. I have another laser hack to show you. This laser hack will walk through the process of utilizing the laser's heat to melt powder coating paint directly into an engraving, resulting in a durable, vivid, UV stable color fill with a level of contrast and longevity that will surpass any other color fill method. Powder coatings are created from polymer resins combined with curatives, pigments, and other additives. These ingredients are melted, mixed, cooled, and ground into a uniform plastic powder similar to baking flour. Traditionally, this powder is sprayed onto products using an electrical charge to temporarily hold the powder in place until it is baked in an oven to melt the plastic onto the product. This produces a highly durable, UV-stable plastic coating that can last up to 40 years. I purchased these convenient small 2 ounce jars of different colored powder coatings from Amazon for $9 to $15 each depending on the color. Scan this QR code to order. This laser hack shows how to use a laser to melt the plastic powder into the engraving, producing a unique, high contrast, durable color filled effect. To do this you need to create a design that will be engraved and add a blue outline around the image. Then place the material to be engraved tightly against the top left rulers of the laser system and focus the laser. Import the designs into the Ruby software and open it into the Ruby prepare screen. Then select the materials parameter from the materials database. Turn off the blue and red colors in this example and push the file to the laser. Start the laser and engrave the material with the standard engraving settings for the material selected. Once the engraving is complete, wipe any residue from the material surface and remove it from the laser. To add the powder coating, place a small amount of the desired color into the engraving and then use a flat piece of plastic or squeegee to fill it in. If you do this on a piece of paper for each color, any excess powder coating paint can be scraped off onto the paper and put back into the container. For additional colors, repeat this process until all desired colors are in the engraving. Once the powder coating is in place, put the material back into the laser, again tightly against the rulers, close the laser lid, and then select the custom parameter called Powder Coating Melt Laser Hack into the Ruby Laser software. Push the file to the laser and push start to run it. This laser parameter will be included in the link below for the Speedy 300 and 360 laser machines running an 80 watt laser. The laser will process the powder coating in this example using an 80 watt laser at only 7% power, 5% speed at 125 dpi with air assist turned off and a Z axis offset of 0.5 inches out of focus. This setting produces the best effect to melt the powder plastic effectively rather than engraving it away. Testing found that high speeds and powers would not work. The powder coat material needs slow speeds to produce enough heat to melt the plastic. However, running at 125 dpi makes the process time faster. To produce a sharper looking edge, the blue outline will then be run slightly out of focus at 10% power and 2% speed at 2000 Hz with air assist turned on and a Z axis offset set to 0.1 inches. This will produce a sharp, dark border around the color fill. Please note that this step is not necessary and is a personal preference. Once finished, remove the material from the laser and wipe away any excess powder coating using a damp cloth. The powder coated color fill will produce an orange peel like texture that looks outstanding. If the blue outline is not run, then here is the effect. The color fill look is not quite as sharp, but this effect also looks good. Here are both of the results side by side with and without the blue laser outline. Here is another example where the engraving is already complete, with the material taped in place so it will not move. This can make the process faster because the powder coating can be applied directly inside the laser machine. Once applied, rerun the file using the powder coating parameter to bake the powder coating into place. Once finished, open the laser and wipe away any excess loose powder for a stunning color fill. White is the one color that was more difficult to achieve a consistent color fill. As you can see, producing some gaps in the color using the same process as the previous examples. 
To resolve this, I found that after the first pass was completed, other coats may be necessary. By repeating the process, placing more powder coating into the engraving, and rerunning the process. This will apply more powder coating, producing a more consistent result by melting more of the plastic into the engraving. This final example was hit with three total coats. Any material that can achieve a small amount of depth works with this process. This example is melting the powder coating into a glass engraving. Here's a multiple color example into clear acrylic, as this process will work with any engravable plastics. Here's an example into a clay brick, laser engraved with 10 passes to achieve depth, and then applying the powder coating to provide a high contrast, UV stable color fill that will last up to 40 years. This laser hack is easy to achieve a very high contrast color fill with outstanding results. Depending on the configuration of your laser system, the laser parameters may vary, but once dialed in, the results are truly exceptional. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll be notified for future laser hacks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.